Hello and welcome to Blackboard AI. Today we are going to demystify one of the most fundamental concepts in modern artificial intelligence, vector embeddings. How does a computer, which only understands numbers, learn the meaning of a word like king? How does it know that king is more related to queen than it is to apple? The answer lies in a clever trick of turning words into special lists of numbers called vectors. But how exactly is a word assigned its unique vector? Let us draw it out. Before we see the modern solution, let us understand the problem. The simplest way to represent words with numbers is a technique called one-hot encoding. Imagine our entire dictionary has just four words. We give each word a unique index. To represent the word cat, we create a vector with a length equal to our vocabulary size, in this case, four. Similarly, the vector for dog would have a one in the fourth position, but this has two massive problems. First, real vocabularies have 50,000 words or more, which is incredibly inefficient. Second, and more importantly, these vectors have no sense of meaning, as all words are equally different. This brings us to the core of how modern models work, using something called an embedding matrix. First, we define our vocabulary size and a smaller embedding dimension, like 300. Our lookup table will therefore have 50,000 rows, one for each word, and 300 columns. At the very beginning of training a model, we fill this giant table with small random numbers. So how is a token assigned its vector? It is surprisingly simple. It is just a lookup. The model finds the word's ID, goes to the matrix, and simply grabs the entire corresponding row. Okay, so we are just looking up rows of random numbers. How does that help us understand meaning? The key is that these numbers are not random forever. They are learned through training. Let us say based on the random numbers, it predicts the next word is shoe, which is wrong. The model calculates an error, then goes back to make tiny adjustments to the numbers in the vector for queen. Now repeat this process millions of times with vast amounts of text from the internet. Words that appear in similar contexts, like king and queen, will have their vectors nudged in similar directions. Eventually, the vectors for related words end up close to each other, filling the numbers with meaning. So let us quickly recap how an embedding model assigns a vector to a token. First, every word is given a unique ID and a large embedding matrix is created with random numbers. The assignment is a simple lookup. The model takes the words ID and fetches the corresponding row from the matrix. Finally, through training, the model constantly adjusts the numbers, causing vectors for similar words to become mathematically close. And that is it. It is a lookup table that starts off random and gets smarter through experience. If this explanation helped you, please consider liking this video and subscribing to Blackboard AI for more simple breakdowns of complex AI topics. Thanks for watching.